Hey everybody, and welcome to day seven, I think it's day seven, of the Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI tournament. We've got four matches as usual for you today. First one deciding who is the undefeated champion of the winner's bracket, and the next three paring it down to the two who will be vying for a second shot at that champion. So without further ado, let's get it started. So the first match we've got Heroes Heroes versus my own team. The things I think about at night. Or the things that keep me awake at night. I can't recall how I named it. According to the wall, it looks like the things I th think of that keep me awake at night. Although, I haven't... Both of them, yes. I have not reviewed it in a while, so I might have just <laughs> messed with it myself. No, nah, that, sounds, that sounds right. Yeah. I tried to make it cumbersome and long. Yeah, that, that seemed to be a recurring theme on team names. There are a lot of very long team names. Okay. Anyways, for Hero, we have Mr. Zoom the Assassin starting us off with his pair of assassin daggers for death sentence on those big beefy knights. Mrs. Zoom the Geomancer, again, popular throughout this tournament, elemental draw out. It really hurts. <laughs> it is worth noting that Drawout will be getting a nerf of some variety for next month. I just haven't figured out exactly what yet. Hero and the Oracle, with the other thing getting nerfed this next uh, month, the two-handed Goku Rod. Although I suspect that's more going to be just having lower MA so it's not so hard to hit. And Hero the Monk, with concentrate so just <laughs> all sorts of dangerous things on this side and speaking of getting hurt it's Ludo's neck pain although attack up also hurts so we'll see how that does does that impact counter attack throw does. it does attack up stacks multiplicatively with um, the innate martial arts on the monk mm. and that applies to Punches, punch out, and counter throw. We have. Unfortunately, counter throw hasn't actually done a lot yet. Well, plenty of times left. <laughs> Being in the winner's bracket, yeah. you have at least two matches to sh see it, so. Also yeah. noteworthy is you were the only person who made any left handed units this tournament. Oh, yeah, I like making left handed randomly. <laughs> Anyways, we have the Geomancer with item. Also, magic attack up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't impact Geomancy. Cause Geom it does. It does. Mm. I was looking at the BMG and it didn't. Is that a 1-3 thing or just something mm. unrelated? I was under the... Imp I, is it like an exception on the formula? Because I was under the impression it would impact the MA on the elemental formula. As I understand it, it it's... Totally misplaced my support ability. Yeah, we'll have to test that, but I'm... It called elemental, like, non-physical and non-magical, even though it counter-magic impacts it. Like, it's explicitly called out in the BMG that neither magic attack up nor attack up functioned on it. Huh. So... Well, I kind of just assumed it would use the MA in any formula that used MA, but I could be very wrong here. Yeah, I mean, something we'll have to look into. Uh, yeah. The infamous Planar Magic Ninja. Uh, my favorite. I really like these, and I think I'm going to do very little, if anything at all, to nerf them. They just seem like a, a fun thing that create interesting, fun moments without being too powerful. Although, yeah, pretty good. We'll, we'll see if they become super popular next month and end up dominating. I'll probably have to address it, but for now, I think it's, like, on the edge of acceptable. Um, she trades off the, uh, the field advantage potential for being very, very squishy. Yeah. Hero's Monk will absolutely one-shot her at every given opportunity. Yeah, 216, sure will. And, of course, everyone's favorite ass, Kujata's with uh, the one-handed Goku Rod. 
but Hamido, so hopefully that uh saves you from This back here Rod was only intended for the fence. Yeah, save from heroin. So let's get started on our large map seventy six. Also, speed up. The Klaus Desert. Now loading. Oh yeah, this is certainly a large map. Yep. Not mistaken, that is my team on the, on the wide. It is. Your team is up top, and Heroes is down bottom. And Heroes has taken my my usual purple color. Yeah, there were like three of the four matches today had secondary colors involved because yeah. Fig's two colors were the same on both sides, and purple is very popular. So anyways, the units are... I'm going to need to, uh, to teach Hero a lesson. Why? <laughs> well, at least the Heaven's Cloud Why? is only on one. And you get off the Counter Flood for almost the same amount of damage back, so... This is true. The Wave Fist it's takes her out. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Ninja's My evasion is, uh... Oh, the confusion oh. proc. That's gonna be huge. That that might actually make the make the difference in this match. At least on this map. All I need is a little bit of a um a, a pace. Oh, there's the confuse too. Oh, and fast. it breaks the it. charge and hits everybody. Oh, oh. Uh, so that that confuse too, ninja. Oh, that's a one shot. <laughs> What's that compatibility? It's gotta be good at least. Well, right. Teams this deep in the tournament well, yeah. are probably all good with each other. And a plate yeah. takes uh, out the ninja, yeah. and this is looking to be a pretty decisive win for Ludo. Yeah, well, the monk's up again, at least, but it's gonna be fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, four on one, that's and... Such. It trying to sandbag, it's not going to work out super well. Yeah, not with a Geomancer on the opposing team. And he just goes for the kill instead. <laughs> I... I overestimated how large of a margin he would overkill my ninja. Because the ninja's just barely under his kill this mm. If that was 220 on a punch, that means Wave Fist wouldn't one-shot it. Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. Alright, and we head out to our small map now where the dry out will probably be a little more dangerous for you. 16. Inside Limberry. Inside of Limberry Castle. Yeah, small maps and dry out are a deadly combination. As small maps go, this one's uh, pretty okay. I think my ninja can get a turn one confused too off. Let's see if it's enough. No, no, I just threw a book. Oh, that was the enemy ninja. Never right, right, you're not purple this time. Your ninja elects to throw instead <laughs> of... Uh... Oh boy, that's a Geomancy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, um... There's also the fact that our teams have the same unit makeup, just with a little bit of game difference. So it's quite confusing at the start of the match. Yeah. With you not being on your native color, it's especially confusing. Oh, well, <laughs> this one is going the opposite of the last one. Well, let's see if this works. <laughs> the infamous so. Confuse 2. Lands 1, lands 2. And 2. And one of my units, the Geomans, I believe, is coming back up. Nope. Or not. That's not a good time to miss. <laughs> nope. Heaven's and, Cloud oh, taking the ninja. Unfortunately, does not kill. 
At least it wasn't stigma magic. Yep. Ooh, blocked. That was on the friendly unit. Also. That was on your unit, so... Or no, no, yeah, it was on was, the Geomancer, yeah. Geomancer. You were both in the same area, so hard to see. Yeah, yeah the... I saw God and I figured it was a shield. Frogs! Miss. One. Landed on the confused. Just... And the monk. Excellent. <laughs> uh, well, the, the ninja's down, but, but she did well. She did her so job. That's the most, so he can revive. Also failed oh. two misses in a row. That's so big. That doesn't actually clear the... It does not. He would, he'll Maybe have to use Maiden's Kiss as well. Maiden's Kiss, yeah. Giving your Oracle extra time to revive. Or going in for the mid-charge. Oh, no. And the Geomancer's oh, no, going to finish it. The, yep. The, yeah. The frogs were revised. not Come enough. On, <laughs> and we go to a game three on a medium map, 118. Missing two revives in a row, though. Although, we'll talk about the luck of hitting all those confuses as well. No, I think that was just justified. <laughs> um, you might be biased a little. <laughs> just a little. <laughs> And also, I mean, they're not triggering at the end there. That would have saved the Oracle for another turn. Oh yeah, I remember this map. It's, um, it's a weird one. Not used anywhere in the original game. Checkerboard land. Oh team. wait, no, this is a deep dungeon one, isn't it? It is not a deep dungeon no. one. Never mind. Yeah, checkerboard land two, the the weird one. The enemy ninja running up is also confusing the hell out of my ninja. Counter Flood coming out, and Chakra to top up. That is a pretty big Chakra. I am also... Yeah, the attack up and the martial arts both affect Chakra, yep. as far as I'm aware. Hero's Geomancer um, goes down. Jack, I am a fan of the ninja retreating at that point, because of... How did you get to arrange here? Which, according to Sigus' whole map, is apparently in the water. Red is water, yellow is not. Interesting. Which, really weird. Why? <laughs> Ninja takes out the Geomancer and gets taken right back out herself by the monk. Wait, this? Near fatal? Not fatal, though. The Jay, I can fix Charge that. in the full life. Maybe this one will actually land. The monk goes down to the ninja. It's a lot of very aggressive play on both sides. Yellow is water, except where that one monk is. Yeah, the monk is underwater for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a. Oh, so it looks like a three-on-three three now. Phoenix down to bring up the Geomancer. My Geo's still Oop, up. Not but, for long. Um, well, that, that was not the Geo, but I was going to say not close enough to the anti sandbag Except, yes, she is. Um, excellent. Still, it's a losing battle at this point. Better a I think Counter Flood on the ninja takes him down. That might, oh, that's right. that might actually be a... Full life on the uh, ninja, is that? Yep. Yeah, that's the ninja. And she immediately takes her turn. Less, the unit to, to revive, especially since she's about to get punched. Oof. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the monk would have been more useful. X potion up. At least they're standing at different heights for this for the sake of this game. So she goes down. Enough. It looks like Hero yeah, is way ahead. This is game three.
and that ninja should be enough. Again, no Hamido. Yep, there it is, the mid charge, but Hamido prevents it. The Hamido. Now, I would say you know how my team is with the you know, game three comebacks, but. Not like cool. this. <laughs> Maybe a spin. Yep. Fist. Takes out two. This should be a just boy. barely enough. Yup. Ninja with the Phoenix down. Geomancer with a heal that also catches the monk. So what does the monk help. do in this spot? He, 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 he gets get he gets stacked. He gets rod whacked. That's what happens. <laughs> I was going to say, if he could get a kill, he would prioritize that, but otherwise he would try to revive an ally and promptly get anti sand Alright, so... Hero right, takes well, the match 2-1. But... I expect well that. fought by Ludo. And now we will see which fig survives to uh, challenge the next round. I will laugh if the main team beats the main team. It happens sometimes. I'm not even sure which one is the meme team at this point. Because <laughs> this was the first well, one submitted. Yeah. Good news, Salty Dog. Probably will. <laughs> yeah. Well, Timmy is definitely a main team. The other one looks a lot more conventional. Although, Team Timmy has been just tearing up the large maps and doing surprisingly yeah. well on the small maps. So we'll see if that's going to yeah. continue through. Our... To be fair, Mind Bar Dancer is pretty powerful. It's just that it takes up three units on a team of four. If it were a 6v6 or something along those lines, you'd see a lot more of a setup. Yeah. So, Yin Yang Unfortunately, and Unfortunately, that's... I'm pretty sure that's a VRAM limitation on... It is. There can only be nine different sprites on a battlefield. Like, yeah. if you have... The, the original game gets around it by just having, like, three Lancers on the map, and that counts as one. So... Yeah, because it's the same sprite. Um, and that's why we have, in 1.3, on a thread of something like 11 Chocobos. But it's okay, because it's only five different kinds. So yeah, we have Three Fist Monk to go along with Mime Bard Dancer. Then we have the Blood Sword Knight that has been reasonably popular, but only passingly successful. Samurai with, Dry with Elemental, we know that one all too well. Oracle with White and Short Charge. So yeah, this is about as boilerplate a team as they come. This is all of the all of the high notes. This is the only team I think that uses time magic, and it's actually been pretty successful, so Haste two has a huge radius, and if it goes off it can definitely give you yeah, that it's edge at the start. Of routinely that. hits three and that's <laughs> been a pretty big differentiator. A couple of times my ninja snuck into the radius. <laughs> We go to large map 112. Tiger. This one is a deep dungeon. Yeah. A very memorable deep dungeon, considering what you find on it. Did you ever watch that, um, that five hour video by Heart Hunt? Going the Ghost of Fury fight on here. Oh god, that fight. Oh jeez. That was that was a wild one. So yeah. Flying Dancer gets this... way out ahead. And as does teleporting oh. Bard. Apparently our UI is out of date. Which showing a pretty good match. Super unfortunate, because if they had had to walk all the way weaving around. That would have been huge for Timmy Trap. Yeah. Um, 
this map would severely favor Timmy Trap. If they Oop, Bard goes right. down. <coughs> As is, they still have an advantage in mobility. Yep. And the dancer up there has got items, so she can bring the Bard back up. Although, maybe not. No. Yeah, that rushing out over having the mobility skills really came back to so, bite them. So now they've just got the monk to revive and I don't think it's gonna last too long. Yeah, the uh, team what's for dinner is gonna get to collapse in on them and they have a lot of ranged damage, so. But it couldn't hit the, um, the monk at that angle. Well, also, only has a range of three, so... Yeah. She goes down. I figured the, the chemist could have moved differently if that were the case. But, yes. Yeah, it looks like getting some uh, geomancy over the walls for the double kill and the quick wrap-up. That'll do it. What's for dinner takes game one. We go to small map, 21. Zeltenia Castle. Is indeed a castle. I don't remember where Zeltenia is in the game. I will, I'm sure I'll remember as soon as I see them. Ah, yes. There was a cutscene that we never actually fired. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I, guess I got it. During the last match. Okay, cool. Thanks, Salty. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so the, the dancer and the bard running forward and singing and dancing and generally doing formative things. Um, and then let's see the if draw out. For this to work out. Boop. Yeah. Well, <laughs> double kill. Out. The 108 yeah, gems with the dry out does a lot of damage with uh, Kotetsu and oh, Asura. Yeah. Was that a haste 2 being charged? Looks like it. So Dancer does have Phoenix down, so we still have some sandbag capability. Just kidding. Oh, the dancer's gone. <laughs> Not a chance. No. It looks like Timmy Trap did not make it out of this one. I don't know, there is still a mine. Maybe it punch his way to victory. For how long? <laughs> About this yep. one. Very decisive win by uh, <coughs> what's for dinner. Fig wins, Fig loses. Long live Fig. <laughs> Alright, so next match uh, Kajada versus Advent. Uh, interesting teams here. Kajada is very heavy on the offense, and Advent is very heavy on the pick. Um, that is a scary meta pick. I love the pig. We we want to see we want to see more pig. It spent, the, it spent its entire previous match seducing the enemy, <laughs> like, just just getting him into a corner, trying to be alone with him. But the allies wanted none of that. Actually, the knight wanted none of that. He kept stigma magicking it. Didn't he? Uh, yeah, that was usually what he did with his turn. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we have our infamous uh, two-handed Hamido Goku Rod Oracle, this one with draw out, in no, instead of a Geomancer. Go figure. The knight with two swords, again, still popular. Geomancer. What did that knight have for evasion? Was it an elf mantle? Yep, because he has abandon. Yeah. I was just saying it had abandon. Yep. Yeah. So fifty-fifty evades. That's pretty powerful. Yeah. Geomancer with uh, white magic and defense up, and Oracle with uh, black magic and short charge. The double Oracle team, the only one on the. I'm interested by the. 
Tyrus play here? I mean, I've seen her attack with it, but I can't see that actually being... I suppose that's a zero MP option when she just wants to attack and finish someone off who's a low health, but otherwise right. it seems like an odd choice. Anyways, going moving on to Advent, we have the Geomancer with draw out as as one does. The the pig who doesn't love the nose breath. The knight sure does. The monk with a circlet to be a little beefier, and just a chocobo. So let's. No, there's a lot of chicken themes in it naming in this bracket. in fact a uh, 95 large map oh also be actually prepared for once we go to the church the night Yes, it's hard to kill, however, it sacrifices that for generally being a singular force on the battlefield. It does not have a lot of uh, area control or AOE. It just walks up and hits people and there are counters for that. And usually doesn't get attacked back itself because it's at the highest hit points. Yes, so it tends to be the last unit alive on a big but unfortunately, without any manner of revival, usually the other team just revives a bunch and it can't really fight the uphill battle. Exactly. The official mention only attacks one at a time. It, it's great when you're on a team and you need to pick them up. <laughs> so naturally, the pig goes down immediately to the to the rod whack. The geomancer survives one turn, but. But gets geomancied, so. Geomancy being uh, unavailable, that was a guarantee. Yep. Kill. And the Chocobo, instead of reviving, just. Attacks. I don't believe it has a revive. It has Cure and Asuna. Oh, yeah, sorry. It has a heal and a. And, a and, and petrified. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think this match is progressing past this point. No, it's a very quick win for Kajada. Dark Holy yep. to finish it off. Geomancer electing to revive instead of oh, they, instead they of kill stealing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking would happen yesterday. <laughs> Alright, so when when I took him to the same map. Seventy small map. Noveska Temple, one that we thought was a large map of some days back, and found it was, in fact, not even close. So, Is that not the one where it is a little larger with the unit stuff? That's together? the one. That's the one with the pillars. Yep. Yeah, we changed it to small in the classification after we used it the last time. Seeing how big tell units use it, they do have a bit of a training ground in their teleport, apart from that, pretty well a small Yep. Map. The action starts immediately, as as it would, and the Earth Slash takes out the Geomancer right out of the gate, and then a Heaven's Cloud for 250 and 200. That is a big Heaven's Cloud, but stop is going, well, actually, I was going, I was saying it was going to affect things, but, but now, maybe. <laughs> Looks like the Oracle's charging a Rejuve, maybe? Cure, I guess. No, that, that was an offensive... Um, yeah. I'm surprised it went for that. It's going to be killing And me. Pig brings up the Geomancer. Having 11 speed on, a, on an instant for life is pretty powerful. It's just that the Pig is... Yeah, the pig does not survive very well, and being fast and mobile gets himself into trouble before the rest of the team can come help out. It makes him viable on, on small maps, 
but Chocobo goes down. Nice reliability. Alright, that looks like a dog holy. And comes back up. Do we get to I'm mid sure charge? No. Does. I'm sure the pig could have mid charged with a um But the Geomancer actually the survives it. Yeah. Might be why it didn't. Night. Oh, here we go. The infamous nose <laughs> breath. <laughs> Looks like this uh, is going to be. The, this might be the first night that we see two game threes. <laughs> it is only seventy-three percent on this particular nose breath, so maybe it won't be as ridiculous. They're just going to let his teammates. Um, yep. Well, this one doesn't have stable, so he's just gonna hang on. Hopefully, it wears off. What was that you not said on the pig's about turn. About the night being, about the night being unstoppable. It looks pretty stoppable. There's the straight dash. Yep, it must have been about to wear yep. off. And a slow Wasn't off the heavens cloud. New... That should be enough to give the team time to take him out. Yeah. Earth Slash? Yup. Guarded. The first one being dodged, that, that matters a lot. It does. And also being out of range of the pig. Yep. So, so no nose breath. <laughs> but there is a Heaven's Cloud. Doesn't, doesn't even bother sparing the chocobo. Just... Yeah, he lived. <laughs> So we go to our second game three of the night. That's a new one. It is. Uh, small map, or medium map, excuse me, 89. Poeskus Lake. Interesting map with the high differences. Pretty solid medium map overall. Yep. There aren't a lot with as much space um, that's open for the battle. Local Quake confusion to cancel the charge. The that's pretty big. I feel like that was a paralyzed. One of the oracles has paralyze and the other has sleep, so probably. Straight dash to finish her off. That'll do it. The pig is still ahead, but it has some backup. Yep. Although he's going up against the knight yes. right now, which yeah. is a lot of damage. Fortunately, it does take two hits, so... It looks like a I blizzard, I want to say? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say There's a bit of a heal coming through, but probably not enough to weather a blizzard. There's the revive coming out. Oh, it was it enough to survive! Would, would have and we get the nose breath, it but it misses. The, uh, the Chocobo curing the running pig. Because if the pig were allowed to just run out of range, then it would not be part of the battle anymore. That's an interesting choice, rather than my fist. Did not help. <laughs> now the pig's gonna go down. Uh, yep. Yes. So, as far as I'm aware... I can't recall if the GM and the monk both have revives, or if it's just the monk. Um... I'm not sure he... Oh my oh, god, god, counter magic. Taking out the That's... oracle. Holy... Yeah. That was pretty big. Yeah, counter magic doing more damage than the oracle did to begin yep. with. And the pig's back up. 
so is the Oracle. And Nose Breath does land this time. The Nose Breath does Nose Breath things. It cannot be resisted. It's only a matter of time before you fall to the, the hand. So now we have a 5 on 2. Now that's gotta be a wave fist, yup. Taking her out mid charge. Yep. Geomancer coming back in with a local quake. No confusion this and time. healed off the oh. counter flood. <laughs> this, this looks like it may go to Advent. Looks like it. Another choke of there is still the chance that the knight will uh, get into confusion broken and then just run havoc inside the team, but it may just be too late for that to matter. Wave fist from the geo takes out the geomancer, and it's again a charmed knight versus the whole advent squad. That seems to be happening a lot. Well, it looks like. Uh, Seductive Pig is getting us into the next round. And there's the straight dash to break, but it's guarded. Geomancer goes down. But with the positioning at the moment, the Pig... Oh, no, mind the check that maybe. I was going to say the Pig just may not be able to arrive at Geo, and if that were the case, then like, has a chance of... Uh, but yeah, the Geo coming back up is just way too big. And that 220 hit. So 280, and he heals for 260. So they are actually he making headway. The only character with, um, with evasion uh, moves that bypass evasion with the Geomancer. I don't think that monk has a feeding fist. That's guarded. So it is actually quite possible that the knight can take this. Depends on if the... Yep, the pig does not get brought back up. Yep, they kind of needed that. That's not going to be enough. So now it's down to if the enough. Geomancer lands the proc does not. Yes. And now she's Still under attack. But not the pig crystallizes. So yeah, this is actually still a fight. The Earth Slash to heal her, but she guards it. And seeing as she's going to be doing Heaven's Cloud rather than Elemental, that does not have anywhere near as strong a, uh, a status prop. So it's looking like this knight is actually going to take it, unless... A critical wave fist! And this choker ball is lethal uh, if it hits! This is but it's guarded! Oh, uh, it wasn't lethal, it would have been 30 short. Yeah. Oh, well. well, does the monk have revive? Does he do the revive? He should, yes. And it lands. Chocobo with a cure. They really should have revived that game. And Chakra to Ooh. top them off. So this is actually still is a battle. The Geo, the Geo is topped off, so it can survive two swings from the low. That's another 200. Unfortunately, that's still on. Oh, it does have lowered health. They are still wearing him down. Punch to the back misses. If the monk, it's really up to if the monk can get a hit before the knight takes out one of their members. Uh, Which, given that revive has zero vertical tolerance, is more feasible than it sounds. And 220 that hit. May actually have just happened. See the, the crit pushes him into the wall, so he gets the second hit. Yeah. And then the Chocobo comes up to cure and blocks the revive. 
I don't think you could revive that. That looks like a slow. Oh. It looks like the Geo is just dead. Ah. And it looks like the monk goes down, and Kajada's yep. knight pulls it out from behind. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the knight wins a four on one. That's the first time we've seen that this bracket. It, it's certainly the first time I would have ex <laughs> wouldn't have expected it. Let's say. All right, so we have Fig Two Kajada as our last match. With Omen, you right. can be the... So Fig Two is his um, standard team, isn't it? Not the team. That is team. correct. All right. I see what you did here. I mean, it's what I had to do, so. Yeah. And now we go to, uh, let's see, Fig 2 Kajada. We go to large map 115. That's one of the checking boards, isn't it? Although I guess we should look at the teams first. You've seen them earlier tonight, but we have the Blood Sword Knight and the other Blood Sword Knight. Although this one has abandoned, and we saw the power of that last match. This one only has Meltdown and Black Magic. Yep, this one is the one with Meltdown. We saw the power of that yesterday and the day before. Ooh. For Oracles, the draw out Hamido two handed Goku Rod and the short charge Black Magic going up against a more standard short charge White Magic. The Elemental Draw Out, the Elemental White Magic. And the Time Mage Gunner. I'm quite a fan of that chemist, actually. It's, it's doing good work. Yeah, the haste, too, has just been really good. 115 is Banished Fort, not the checkerboard. Oh, okay. Definitely a I'm large map. This wasn't, uh, I feel like this was a cup thing. You know, I don't remember. Hmm. Well, we're getting elementals. Early Geomancy, of course. It looks like we had a worst compatibility in there, given the difference in damage dealt. Quite possible. 60 and 150. Yeah. There's definitely some worse to have there. So the Oracle's going to have some trouble dealing with the Samurai on Fig side. Big haste two. Three units. That looks like uh, not quite fatal. This point. That's a lot Whoa. of damage. Survives at 450. There's the the okay, worst with pitfall. The, 60 damage from that, the, the holy is going to be fatal. And she goes down. down. Maybe it's magic they, defense they up. up. It may well be, but I think it's still back in time. Because um, it would have... Yeah, so they've teamed up to uh, to take out that arc through the compatibility and the defenses. Oh, that's a meltdown. I saw its other two units were in the range, but they will have a turn beforehand as yep. far as I can tell. That's another holy coming in, and she oh, just gets holy. out of there. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to affect the meltdown better. I believe it does. Enough. Yeah, and you survive the meltdown because the damage you take is set when you start cast and not when you end cast. I believe it was because it was targeted on the area and not the unit. Uh, it also might be possible. But if you move that way, which is positive and should not be allowed to happen. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye on that when I'm doing the ASM auditing in the coming months. 
something trying to do shield break. That, no, it doesn't have a shield. What are you doing? <laughs> Just attack. I um, mean, same thing, really. Same yeah, hit rate as I well, know. I think. It is, yes. It's effectively just an attack at that yep. point. They were just trying to get fancy. Get, getting fancy. Kujata takes game one. So now we go to the smaller map, uh, 111. Vroom. I may be getting a rematch at the, uh, at the end of Luis's bracket. Napalm. We're getting a lot of deep dungeon maps today. Yeah. We are. That is, in fact, small. It is small in a way, yes. Functionally, unless they have teleport or ignore height. But if they do, that can be uh, pretty one sided. Again, with the Again, massive knight the damage. Pressure. But Hamido to Blood Sword right back up. I don't remember what status this does. I think it's just blind or dark. I, I believe that's correct, yeah. So that was a pretty quick turnaround by uh, Fig's team right there. And a trap! Uh, all traps are still in the, in the map. I thought they would have been removed. Another thing for me to mess with on the future Asm. Yeah. And the Holy takes out the Geodans. Oh, she survived it? No, it, w it wouldn't have started casting if it was going to die for holy. Mm -hmm. The life does go off. <coughs> More holies. That's good to take out the oracle. This time, slow two. Haven't seen this one yet. And it lands on both. Might factor into it, but since the oracle's dead anyway. That Kotetsu as well. Well, with the Geomancer being at literally 1 HP, it's going to be costing a heal, and the premise is not going to be allowing that to happen. Oh, never mind. Just a cure. I think it's costing ace HP. Counter Flood. Oh, that'll be huge. Yep, yeah, haste 2. Hitting the entire team. That was version. <laughs> Don't know if you caught that, but an ad started playing in the middle of the, <laughs> the middle of the video. An ad on Twitch or what? An ad on YouTube started playing in the middle of the song. <laughs> oh, I can't hear it, so I guess you're talking to the yep. chat. Anyways, uh, we go to medium map 90. We invert the usual by having only one 2-0 match this game, this, uh, this round today. So we go to the medium map, Germinus Peak. The old classic. So we get the tiebreaker here. Two very evenly matched teams. With a lot of similarities as well. Once again. Although this time with Innocent. This time. And this time may dodges the Hamidos. Yeah. Oh, that's um, an interesting choice. Oh, the knight's going down. Yep, there's the Geo. For only 45, thanks to Shell. Now, if Innocent persisted on death, he'd be fucked. <laughs> Can't revive, sorry. I guess Phoenix down. Yeah. And then, of course, the Holy on the Knight. For only 190. And again, the double guard. Blue is the yeah, team with Abandon on the night, right? Oh, it has to yep. be, yeah. And that's uh, Kajada, isn't yep. it? I recall his 
is not having a bad idea. And just wading into the enemy team and uh, taking out the heal. Yep. Big Samurai hits really hard, though. All three of these have looked very decisive one way or the other. Yep. Big matches. And then again, this one isn't over yet. Nope. Cure coming through. So you think that's enough to save the Samurai? Chemist is down. And that's a meltdown, meltdown. coming. Oh, the Geo comes take. around the other side and stop, puts a stop to that. Yeah, I have zero faith in this Samurai being able to pop Dark Holy taking her to near fatal, and it looks like Kajada's going to squeak this one out. Looks that way, I get my rematch tomorrow. Yep. Let's see if I have the same luck. Well, I wouldn't say tomorrow. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in, it's in a couple days, isn't it? So who have we got now? We've got um, Hero. Hero is undefeated at the top of the bracket. Fig 2 and Kujata both won their matches, but Kujata um, made it out of the loser's bracket. So we have Hero... So Hero waiting yeah, on the right. winner of y you and Kujata. Alright, that should be an interesting couple of matches. Yep. So first we'll have uh, Kujata and you in the loser's finals, and then the winner of that will go on to the grand finals against Hero. Sounds good. So, thanks everybody for coming and watching, and thanks to all our participants. Look forward to the finals coming at you on Thursday. I'm taking tomorrow off to finish up a couple of things. So. Okay. And uh, thanks for running it. It's been, it's been fun. Yeah, I've been having a blast. I can't wait for next time. So, see you guys then. See ya.